Hey guys, today we are doing a lower body workout. It's pretty quick, but you can repeat it as many times as you want. All you're gonna need besides yourself, some comfy clothes, maybe a little bit of water, is a chair. Let's go. All right, so first I'm just gonna walk us through the moves that we are gonna see. Up first, we're just gonna have some knee hugs. This is kind of a bit more of a warm up here, but we're also really focusing on activating our core as well as warming up the hips and glutes. So we're just picking up one knee at a time, hugging it in towards our chest and switching to the other side back and forth. Then we're gonna see some jumping jacks. You have the option to make these step jacks where you're just stepping side to side, bring your arms up overhead, or of course, jumping through it. If for whatever reason you have some mobility issues with your shoulders, you can keep your arms low, down, or even just right in front, right here. Sometimes that can help. So really, basically what I'm trying to say is modify each workout so it feels great for you. It's still gonna be a bit of a workout, but you're not going to hurt yourself. We don't want that. Then we just have some good old body weight squats. I love body weight squats because they're just, they're just too good. I keep trying to make them fancy, but at the end of the day, this is all we need. Feet are gonna come a little bit wider than the shoulders. Toes turn out slightly. Weight's gonna be in your heels. You're gonna send your hips back and down and all the way up. As you lower down, keeping the chest lifted so we're not folding forward. We're not, we're not becoming frogs, not yet. And then rising up. We're doing kneel to squat or I'm gonna give you a higher, more intense, um, slightly advanced option if you're feeling a little spicy today. So you're just coming down onto the knees, you're bringing one foot up, then the next coming into a low squat and then coming back down. I think originally I started with my feet flat, but you can have your toes curled. Un, un, <laughs> I think I just forgot how to say the number one. One, two, three, four. The idea with this is you're staying low, almost as low as you are when you're kneeling is when you come up. If this is really intense on your knees, just as far as like the pressure, you're just gonna come back to doing some body weight squats. You can keep them as shallow as you'd like or doing some good full body weight squats. Here's your other option, ninja jumps. This is all about the swing. It's a little bit of core, but it's more to do with what's happening up here and trusting that this is gonna be okay. You come back, you bring your arms back, you swing and you're jumping, landing into a low squat, coming back down, swing, and up. Some leg kick around. So here's where the chair comes in. We're just doing one leg at a time, hands on hips, a little softness in your supporting leg. You're swinging the foot around and back. As long as you feel confident, you're not gonna smash the chair. Different type of workout. So you can do it with the seat, or you can do it with the back of the chair, swinging around and forward. The slower you go, the more intense this is gonna feel. So I suggest bringing a little bit of momentum into this, going back and forth. And we're gonna do some pistol squats. If you can do pistol squats without the chair, you do you, you're awesome. Otherwise, feet are coming under the hips, shoulders are back and down, hands are out in front. You're lifting one leg, you're lowering your hips down as close to the chair as you can, rising back up. Option, of course, you can just sit. You can think about life for a moment and then get back up. All right, we're doing one side and then the other. 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off. I'm gonna be going through this once through and then you can repeat the video as many times as you'd like. I will leave a clickable time code so you don't have to listen to my intro spiel every time. So starting out with 50 seconds of knee hugs, feet are under the hips, a little softness in the knees, picking up one knee at a time, hug it in and then switch. Core is on nice and strong. What you doing, Otis? Otis, I don't think you're in frame. Do you wanna come here? Do you wanna come sit on the yoga mat? No? All right. So just continuing back and forth as you set your foot down, bringing a little bit of softness into that knee. Basically, we don't wanna be locking out the legs at any point. And also, yes, we're using our arms to kind of pull the knees in, but we're using the core to bring that leg up and then bring it a little bit closer. It's also a good time to kind of start focusing on your breath, breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. We have 12 seconds, that's it. Shoulders are back and down, standing up nice and tall. We've got five, three, two, and one. Release, good, going into our jumping jacks. Gonna pick things up a little bit. So step jacks or jump, ja jump jacks. That sounds funny. Anyways, feet are under the hips. If you're stepping one foot side to side, arms are still coming up overhead, or as I mentioned, you can keep them low or in nice and close. And of course, jumpy jacks. Landing softly on the balls of your feet 
out and in. Core, still key. What do I mean by core? I'm talking about your abs, I'm talking about that belly. It helps protect the back, it helps support everything. It's pretty much the most important thing. Whether you're working out, getting groceries, <laughs> sitting on the couch, sitting at your desk, core is important. <laughs> All right, we've got 12 seconds. Staying light with the feet, keep breathing. You got it. Starting to feel that heart rate coming up a little bit more. Probably feeling the warmth. Excellent. Shake it out. Let's go into our body weight squats. Feet come a little bit wider than the shoulders. Shoulders are back and down. Weights in the heels. And let's begin. At the top of the squat, you're squeezing the glutes and you're sending your hips forward. Completing the squat. The other thing about squats, we're never really stopping completely. We're kind of decelerating, catching, coming back up, going back down. We're not stopping, stopping. It's a nice flow that we have going on. We've got less than 20 seconds. Inhale down, exhale at the top. You got it. How about six? Five, four, three, two, one. Hey, what do we have next? Ah, one of my favorites, kneeling to squat or ninja jumps. I'll start with our kneel to squat. I ask her. So core is on, stepping one foot up, then the other, back and down. Alternating which foot leads, back and down. Oscar, I don't know how you're gonna feel when I start jumping here in a second. All right, or we've got ninja squats. Swinging and up. <laughs> and then back down. Using your arms, using the momentum. This is an explosive move. I feel like I'm doing a weird, like, uh, oh. Cats everywhere. <laughs> Obstacles. At about eight seconds. Breathe. Two, one. Hey, let's get our chair. So we're swinging our foot. We'll start with the right leg, kicking it around one direction. And then the next, you can use the seat or using the back of the chair. Yes, your legs are working here but you're really, you're really engaging into that core to help get the depth, get the range you're going for. Breathe. Your supported leg is a little bit soft, or your knee, I mean, not the leg itself. <laughs> if it starts to feel like, oh no, oh no, starting to get floppy, take it down a notch, continue with it, I don't want anyone bruising their ankles <laughs> or kicking chairs across the room. <sighs> Let's do the other side, shall we? Try when you're going side to side to make it as even as possible. Obviously, if you have any sort of injuries or limitations on one side, just giving yourself some grace, <sighs> working with the best that you can offer today. <sighs> Literally every day is gonna feel a little bit different. Working with it, giving yourself, like forgiving yourself, you know? Especially when things are a little bit crazy and there's a lot to process. Just moving, that's all you can do. That's the best you can do and that's amazing. Any movement is beautiful. Keeping that core engaged, focusing in, back and forth. Ooh. <laughs> leg pistol squats take a chair set it up stand in front of the chair feet under the hips hands come out in front shoulders back and down lift one leg lowering down as close as you can or have a seat rising back up it's also helpful to have like a wall or something nearby so you can kind of 
Get that bit of extra support with your balance if you'd like. And trying to just hover as you go down without actually sitting. Your chest is proud, your core is still on nice and strong. So we're not collapsing into this. The leg that's extended is active, it's strong. We're breathing, really powering into that grounded foot to come back up. You got it, six seconds. It's been a while since I've done these. It's been a while, fit class. Catherine, I can hear you. Mary Allison, I can see your grimace. <laughs> Dawn, these awful squats are just for you. And let's begin. Lowering and lifting. Driving into that grounded heel to really power up. Using this active leg as well. You're reaching forward. You're sending your weight forward and up. Otis, what do you think of pistol squats? Do you think you could do them? Um, no. <laughs> what would a pistol squat look like in a dog? <laughs> what would a squat look like? Is that just when they sit? Is that just a squat? Otis, do you want to work out too? Otis, sit. Otis, pay attention. Focus, sit. Good. Stand. Stand. Good. Sit. Good. Yeah, good squats. Catch your breath, take about 30 seconds to a minute to rest, walk around, get a little bit of water, and then go back and repeat. You're awesome, thank you guys for doing this with me. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And remember, just keep moving.